Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and this message we received it via our email address and the message reads like this. Hello my brother, how are you? Can you please post my story is anonymous. I am a Nigerian national and I am currently living in a foreign land, South Africa to be precise. My dear brother, I have my own confession that I want to share with you. My story started when I was still back home. It was just for fun. Me and my friends, we then said that we wanted to become Yahoo boys. And after we had bought some few computers and managed to buy some phones and laptops, we went online. Then we started dealing as Yahoo boys. But unfortunately, that hassle, it was not for us because we could not manage to catch the fish so after we had seen that this also was not for us that was when one amongst our friends said that we needed to go and visit a voodoo priest maybe our things were going to go according to plan so me and my friends we then went and when we went to this other shrine we were told that we were su supposed to be washed inside a river and the way that we were going to be washed is that each and every one of us had to bring their own chicken it was supposed to be a white chicken to be precise so we went back and we then bought the chicken and we returned back to that shrine then that voodoo priest started washing us first at his homestead then we went to the village and there was this other river in that village when we went in there when it was my time to be washed by that voodoo priest he kept on looking at me and he said that the river goddess had chosen me because she had a great fortune that she wanted to give me so i was supposed to return back to that priest house i then went back with my friends and we started hustling again but each and every one among us we were now trying different hustles like creating so many fake facebook accounts and just trying a lot of scams i then returned back to that priest like he had said that i was supposed to return back to his house because the river goddess had chosen me she had something that she wanted to give me when I went to that priest homestead, I think that it was something that could be done in a day. But when I went there, he said that, my son, you are going to be staying with me for at least a minimum of one month. You are going to be eating what I eat here with my own children. You are going to be doing all of the rituals that we do. That is how I ended up staying at that priest compound for the whole month what we used to do is that me and that priest we used to get out of his compound late at night and he would take me to that river where he had once taken me and my friends at that time when we had gone to his place for those rituals when we would go to the river then me and him will just sit by the river not doing anything just being silent but when we'll be sitting down in silence my brother there is something that always came out of the water and whenever that goddess would come out of the water then she would brighten the sky and i could not even look at her because her face my brother it was so bright so much that i would go blind on the next step my brother if only i had followed my heart maybe i would not have become the man that i am right now because what surprised me my brother is that this river goddess she was said to be a goddess that was very powerful but with all of her powers she seemed to be trapped inside the water this still this thing still scares me even today as to what did i do because i was the one who was able to free this river goddess and she came out of the water and she started living inside my body that priest then told me that the river goddess had chosen me because she had seen that i had a very big 
life that was waiting for me, I was bound to become rich. Even if I had not done these rituals, there was a blessing that was waiting for me, but she had chosen me. So that priest did not come out into the open as like telling me that this river goddess was stuck inside that water. She wanted to come out of the water, but her spirit was trapped in the river. Then that priest gave me something that looked like a stick, but this stick, it seemed to be alive. Even the day when he gave me that stick, when I touched it, I was really scared. I immediately jumped and I said, must I accept this stick because it feels and it looks like it is a snake. Then that priest said that this was nothing but a holy stick. I was supposed to keep it wherever I was. I was supposed to keep it and the one thing that i am supposed to do is that this stick it should never be put in a place whereby it will get wet or any water falling on top of that stick i then went back and i rejoined with my friends at that time each and everyone amongst us were doing their own hustles in my own case my brother life started changing dramatically and that was when i found this other church that is how i ended up being here in south africa so i was chosen amongst some of the volunteers that were supposed to come to south africa and at that time things were happening in my life so quickly so quickly and i came here to south africa and when i came here to south africa I then started to have a lot of dreams. There was this woman. The first thing that I noticed about this woman, she was a white woman. So I just thought that this woman that I keep on seeing in my dreams, is it because now in this place where I am staying, I have that access to almost on a daily basis. I was coming across a lot of white people. So I was thinking that maybe it was because of the change of environment. But that woman kept on coming back visiting me in my dreams and she had such long hair whenever i would see her in my dreams that was the first thing that i would see the long hair that kept on following her and it was a very long stretch of hair each and every time she would try to reach the place where i'll be sleeping then something will just shine upon her and it seemed as if she was afraid of the light then she will just disappear those dreams kept on coming back to me and i spoke with my mom who was back home in nigeria about all of these dreams that i kept on having and she then advised me to go and tell the pastor the next day my brother we were on our fasting when i was supposed to go and speak with this other pastor he was a south african pastor at the church where we were volunteering that was when i had that dream it was that same priest he visited me and he said that he wanted to take that stick from me because i was not able to use it i had forgotten the reason as to why i had arrived in this land all those blessings that i had gotten it was because of his shrine and the river goddess and i had chosen to abandon his shrine as well as to abandon the river goddess and once she has abandoned me then poverty was going to strike me it will was going to strike me down like lightning and thunder so my brother when i woke up the next morning i just pretended as if i was not feeling okay i avoided at all costs to remind the pastor that he was supposed to pray for me like i had told him the previous night from there on that was when that woman the one that was a white woman who had such long hair she then had the power to come to the place where I was sleeping. Sometimes she will just sleep right next to me. When I'll be in my dreams, having those dreams, it will seem as if those things, they were happening in reality. As time went on, my brother, that was when sometimes when I'll be just sitting in church, 
Elbin see that woman, but that woman, she was not able to get inside the doors of the church. She will be just standing outside, raising her hand towards me, calling me to get out of church. And once I would have walked out of church, I would feel that there was this other energy that used to come into my body. Once that energy had entered into my body, if I try to pray about it, I will get sick. Sometimes I would feel so much dizzy, but the moment that I will stop praying, then I will feel normal again. That was when it was known to me that all of those things that I was doing, they were very wrong. I cannot save two masters. The master that had brought me into South Africa was the one that I was supposed to save and she was waiting for me to start saving her so that she can give me the blessings. So my brother, I started to listen to her whenever she would come into my dreams. That was when I saw that the stick that had been given to me by that priest indeed, it was a snake. It is a python, my brother. It is not a very big python. It is just a small python. But most of the times when it is resting, it transforms itself and it will become that stick that is soft. And when you touch it, you can feel that you are touching the body of a snake. But this stick, when you look at it, it is just like a normal stick. That was when that river goddess started teaching me. And then she made a request to me. At that time, when she made the request to me, at that time I still remember that I was changing one million naira to 16,000 rands. So this is the money that I used to give to the slay queens that I used to sleep with. What would happen is that I would go out clubbing and after I had gone out clubbing, then I would pick up some local South African girls, you know, those ones that always chase after money and I will represent the money to them. But this money, when they'll be looking at it, they would think that the money will be in their own currency. But this money that I'll be giving to them, the money will be in the Naira currency. And by the time that this girl that I'll be dating will try to do something meaningful with that money, then she will start to wonder as to where the money had gone to. She could not use the money for anything that will be meaningful and she will end up coming back to me. Even though when she would come back to me, she would always say, what happens to me every time that I am with you? I always forget my underwears in your house. This is what happens to me. Any woman that I date, my brother, she will end up leaving her underwears with me. And her underwears, they won't be the clean ones, but the dirty ones. So let's say if i spend a week with her when she comes from her house obviously she'll be having like three underways as a woman who is going to be spending some time with her men and once she have arrived at my place she will then say that when i am about to go that is when i am going to wash up all of my clothes and my underwears and she will forget her underways and after she is gone that was when that is when that python will come out and it will start leaking all of those items that would have been left behind by the woman that I'll be dating at that time. And if it happens that it is an emergency, like if I just pick up one of those girls, they call them the slay queens. And when I take her to my place, when she will be fast asleep, that is when that stick will transform itself and it will become something like a snake. Then that snake will start to leak all over that slay queen's body. But usually it targets the private area. And as, as that snake will be busy licking the private area, that snake, what it will be doing is that it will be removing some fluids from the uterus. That is why a lot of women that I have dated, after they have dated me, they will start to have problems whereby they will not be able to have children because when this snake will be busy licking them, it will be removing some essential fluids from their body.
those fluids that make it to be possible so that they can conceive my brother all of these things that i did and everything that i am still doing right now on my mind it leaves a very bad memory i don't know how i can wrap this thing from my consciousness but whenever i try to pray i once visited this other south african pastor but i didn't come out into the open i just said that i was tired of the way that i was living my life and he seems to be an understanding man and he didn't want to question me a lot me and him we were having a private session after he had given me some counseling that was when he said that my son all that i want to tell you is that i want you to say that this dark energy that is living inside my body it should leave my body right now that sentence my brother it failed to come out of my mouth each and every time when i would say this dark energy that is inside my body i want it to then it will be like there was someone that was closing my mouth i felt we had a prayer session me and that pastor but no matter how hard he would try to force me to say that prayer i could not say that prayer and the more that we tried the more that i went violent and i then pulled out some cash and i said if you want this money just take it and i walked out of his office but he followed me to my car and he said my son i cannot accept your money for i know where it comes from that is when I left that church and I had to move out of that location because that man I think that he is the only one here in South Africa that has the knowledge that I am a ritualist I then moved out of that community and I started staying in another area and it is a very private secure rich neighborhood so I just do all of my rituals without anyone ever noticing that this is what i do the only thing that they think about me they just think that i am a player because i bring a lot of women but all of these women that i date it is because i need to survive these are the words that she whispered to me she said that soldiers are but plenty if you have grown weary and tired for fighting for my battles then i can raise up one like you and i can take my blessings from you and i can give that when that I would have risen those blessings yeah dear listeners right there was a message that was forwarded to me by one of our admins we received this message via our email address strange things do happen in this world